Okay, we're gonna do a raptor teardown. The first thing we wanna do anytime we take any raptor apart is degas the gun. On the right side of the drop down is a 2.5 millimeter bleed screw. We're gonna open that up and let this gun bleed completely dry. This gun's already dry, but this is, this is the first step we would take is to open up the bleeder and bleed it completely dry. Using that same 2.5 millimeter screw, we're gonna take out the four screws on the breech. So that'll be our next thing we do. Send up the four screws in the breech. Now we need to take the center screw out, but because the bolt is spring-loaded and you try to pull it back it'll cock the gun and then if you take that bolt it'll actually fire the gun we don't want to do that so we're going to put a two millimeter Allen in we're gonna loosen up the set screw could be in any of these holes depending on how far the adjuster is up um, for the spring tension and we're going to pull the buttstock off. So we'll pull the buttstock off. We've loosened the set screws for the spring tension adjuster and uh, then we'll pull the spring out. Okay, we have the buttstock removed. We have the spring adjuster lock screw, set screw loosened up. So we're just going to pull out the spring adjuster all the way. There it is, that's what the spring rides on. And then we're gonna pull the hammer spring out. And there it is. And it just rides right on there. We're gonna set that aside. Now we can cock this back and remove this screw right here. And that is a three millimeter Allen. Oops, sorry guys, trying to do this with one, one hand here. So. Take that screw out and then pull the breech off. We have the breech off. There's the four screws. You can set them aside. There's the transfer port right there. And above that is an O-ring. Set that aside. Below that is the valve. And there's an O-ring down in there too. So we're gonna focus on that. Okay, so those two O-rings need to be inspected. We're gonna grab a um, I believe it's two millimeter, but let's, let's verify that. Two mil, two millimeter Allen, no, 2.5 Allen. Sorry about the blurriness, let me see if I can focus that. There we go, and we're gonna take the hammer cocking lug out. Put that aside with uh, the other parts. Okay, now we have the gun upside down. We did everything on the top that we needed to do, so we're gonna take a three millimeter Allen and take the two bolts that hold the mag holder slash brace off the gun. Okay, we got the, the brace off, so down here. We're gonna take a six millimeter Allen and we're going to take the screw out of the, the handle, the grip, and remove the handle. Okay, now that we have the, the grip off, we're going to take a three millimeter for the front screw in front of the trigger guard, and a four millimeter for the back screw behind where the handle was. And those two screws will remove the grip assembly. Okay, now we have the grip assembly off. We can take the, let's set this down. Butt stop adapter off. We can slide the hammer out of the tube. There it is. And uh, then we can unscrew the bottle and regulator from the drop down. Okay, so now we're basically down to the valve and 
the drop down. So using the four millimeter Allen, we're gonna take the three screws from the drop down and the two screws that are left whoops, from the valve, one on this side, one on the other side, off. And um, that'll take us down to the pressure tube and, and, and the valve. The valve out and um, we're gonna take a set of clip pliers and we're gonna pull out this circlip and then pull the thimble and valve poppet and valve stem out and that'll take us down to our final pieces of the disassembly of the Raptor and Raptor Mini. Okay, so here's the poppet that we just removed after taking the circlip. It's brass, the steel poppet, Inside here is an O-ring. This can be replaced if it's worn or leaking. And uh, inside here is simply a spring. So if you need uh, to put a lighter spring in for more power or a heavier spring in for a tighter extreme spread on the smaller bores, you can do that. Okay, folks, that is the complete disassembly outside of doing the <clears throat> shroud, which if we take this stripper off here, that'll take the, th that'll loosen the shroud up, that's under tension, and you can pull that off, and then the barrel can be removed at that point with these two, three set screws. One, two, three. Loosen those all the way up or take them out, and then you can slide the barrel off and uh, that concludes it.